Good afternoon and welcome to the Cathedral of St. Mary of the Immaculate Conception. I'm Monsignor de... Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. 
Come, listen to me, my child. I will teach you the reverence of the Lord. your whole life, reflect your vocation and your dignity. Our Holy Mother, the Church, sees in you a chosen person within the flock of Christ. Through you, the Church's mother will be great. So I ask you, are you resolved to persevere to the end of your days, the Holy State of Virginity? and in the service of God and His Church. Are you resolved to follow Christ in the spirit of the Gospel, that your whole life may be a faithful witness to God's love and a convincing sign of the Kingdom of Heaven? Are you resolved to accept solemn consecration as a bride of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God the Almighty Father, through His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that by the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, He will pour out the Holy Spirit of His love on this His servant, of whom He has chosen to be consecrated to His service.
Loving Father, chaste bodies are your temple. You delight in sinless hearts. Our nature was corrupted when the devil deceived our first parents. But the others, and she find all things in possessing them. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Dearest God, receive the veil and the ring that are the images of your consecration. Keep unstained your fidelity to your bridegroom. Never forget that you are God in the service of Christ, of his body, the church. See the book of the liturgy of the hours, the prayer of the church, the praise of our Heavenly Father, be always on your lips. Pray without ceasing for the salvation of the whole world.
volunteer. You, would you, how about this young man right here? Would you be my helper? Come on up. That's your brother? Wonderful. I call this my helper spot. If you'll come stand right here in this helper spot, you'll be in the perfect spot. Then you want to turn this way so everyone can see you. And then tell me your name. What's your name? Say it real loud. Elliot. Elliot. Nice to meet you, Elliot. And how old are you? This is Elliot. He's six. Now, I'm going to let Elliot hold something sharp for our experiment. We're going to use a sharp pencil. Now, Elliot, all you have to do is hold that pencil sideways for me like that. And then what I'm going to do is make a bubble and catch it on my wand. And then Elliot, nice and slow and gentle, I want you to put that pencil right into the side of the bubble, right on the side, and tell everybody, this will not pop my, oh, did you see that? Let's test that out. We're gonna change the experiment just a little bit. This time, will you put the pencil inside the bottle? Just drop it in there for a second. Now the whole pencil won't fit in there, it's a little bit longer than the bottle, but the pointy end is all completely covered with the bubble solution now. I'll have you hold that again, Elliot. Now you don't want to tell anybody the answer. When we tell people the answer, they get it up here, but they don't have a chance to have that aha, that, that little God moment, that moment of wonder. I want people to feel that. Those are so rare. But if you know what's going to happen, give me the secret signal. Go like this. Can you tell I was a teacher? Okay, Elliot, again, nice and slow and gentle, right into the side of the bubble. And look, you did it. You put a sharp pencil into a bubble, teaching us sharp things do pop bubbles, but not because they're sharp. It popped the first bubble because the pencil was dry. dry. Did you use the dry end? Did you erase the bubble, Elliot? There you go. Look at that. Even the eraser end is going inside the bubble. I'll take the pencil back. I have a little cloth for you. You can dry your hands off with this. Two, three. Oh, let's try it again. Oh, let's see, there's still, still. It's just, a, it's the train or the little, the veil 